All right, so I just took the phone off the charger. It's 8 a.m. Uh, of course, we're at 100% so I literally just took it off. Um, so yeah, let's get the day started. Well, shit, I guess they don't stop over spring break. Hello? 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 Okay, f you. Okay, so I am basically having you guys make a huge decision for me at the moment. So, I've already made the executive decision that once the once this challenge is over, I am not switching back to the S9 because it is just unbearably slow. And this phone is only three years old, so like, what the hell? The turbo is six years old and it's faster than that. But I'm actually thinking about switching back to my iPhone SE permanently, which, you know, that's a pretty big deal. Um, but the iPhone SE is still incredibly fast. The only thing that would just kind of suck is the battery life, but I lived with it for a month last year, so I'm like, shit, I can do this for even longer. So I'm kind of thinking about it, but uh, yeah, we'll see what you guys say. All right, ending a bit of a lighter day. Um, it is 10.08 p.m. We're at 52% battery, so pretty good overall. Um, actually, really good. Um, but it's getting kind of late. I have to wake up pretty early for a doctor's appointment tomorrow. By early, I mean 6.30 in the morning. So I will catch you guys tomorrow. All right, so before I go, just wanted to update you on the voting poll. This is what it's looking like right now. I get 100 views on my Instagram story in four hours, which somehow that's getting more views than my Snapchat right now. I really don't know how that's possible because my Instagram, that is a four hours and 100 viewers is a record on my Instagram story. Uh, so yeah, not bad. Right, I took the phone off the charger at 6.45, so not too long ago and we're still at 100 it's 7 8 a.m so not too bad but uh yeah let's get this uh day started here's what the voting poll is looking like it looks like most of you want me to switch back to iphone which i guess i'm gonna do so yeah i think once the challenge is over my sim card's going in here Shit. never does it end Hello. Hi, yeah, this is Monica, and I'm a vacation specialist calling on a recording. Now, I'm with U-Sweeps regarding traveling, and my callback number is 866-351-1185. What the f*** does that even mean? So, I basically challenged myself to edit this entire video, the one you're seeing right now on my 21 and a half inch iMac. The problem with it is that this computer is so slow like it is probably the slowest computer I've ever used it is horrible so ugh, this is this is going to be a serious challenge <laughs> oh. so here's how the voting poll is looking uh, it's 17 to 7 for iPhone so it looks like once I'm done with the challenge, I am going to be switching back to my iPhone SE, which I'm actually kind of excited that I'm finally switching back to an iPhone, but, mm, but I somehow got like 145 viewers in 19 hours. Now that's my highest view count, not my highest poll count. My highest um, poll count was like, it was a uh, Trump versus Biden poll. Let me go ahead and see if I can find it. Yeah, that was 56 to 12 for Biden. All right, so I'm only th I'm only starting on the third day of the challenge editing it and it's already 20 minutes long. <laughs> so I think I might have to do this as a multi-parter because yeah, I don't want to make this like a two hour long video. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do week by week. So yeah. All right, 
After a bit of a heavier day with a lot of video watching, ending the day at 9.48 p.m. with 26% battery, so I'd still call it a pretty good day, but yeah, definitely a bit of a on the heavier side, but uh, yeah, but uh, I have a Genius Bar appointment tomorrow, so I will catch you guys in the morning. Alright, so took the phone off the charger at 7.30, about that, um, and it's 8.04 a.m., we're, we're still at 100%, so good start, but uh, yeah, let's get this day started. Alright, so we've got the tech backpack, we have to head over to the Apple store right now, because I have a Genius Bar appointment. Hopefully, my uh, MacBook is getting a new battery today, because uh, it's, it's pretty beaten up. Uh, service recommended warning dies at 45%. So, yeah, it's definitely not good. So, let's uh, <laughs> let's head to the Apple Store. They're not gonna let me record in there, so uh, I'll let you guys know once we're done. Okay, so we just got back from the Apple Store. So we didn't get a new battery installed yet, but they're gonna order the part and hopefully have it in soon. But we actually noticed that the battery is actually swelling a little bit, which is um, not good, but I'll get my password. Okay, there we go. But it's still working. I have over 800 um, battery cycles on this, so it's not really surprising. And this is a seven-year-old computer, so yeah. Um, not all that surprising to be honest, but um, like I said, they're gonna order the part and have that in um, hopefully soon at my Apple store. Um, they're just gonna call me once it's available. What do you want? But uh, I gotta order a hard drive and get that, so yeah. All right, ending the day with a minimal amount of usage 10 3 p.m. we're at 65 percent battery so yeah I, I mean i barely use the phone today no spam calls um so yeah i will catch you guys in the morning all right so i took the phone off the charger at pff, eight i'd say around that um but it is uh, 10.06 a.m. We're at 98% battery, so good start overall. But, uh, yeah, let's get the day started. <laughs> good old Pittsburgh weather. It's April 1st, and it is snowing. <laughs> and it's like 34 degrees. Great. So, since it's now April, it's April 1st, that means 10 days until my 18th birthday. I turn 18 in 10 days. That is, whoa, that's a zoom in. Didn't want to do that. Anyways, 10 days until I turn 18. That's nuts. So, uh, yeah, I mean, birthday vlog is coming out um, before part two comes out of this video. So, yeah. All right, so surprise, surprise, it was another light day. I'm not even really ending the day, but putting the phone on a charger at 9.57 p.m. with 68% battery, madness. But, <laughs> uh, yeah, but I'll catch you guys in the morning. All right, took the phone off the charger at like 7.29 guessing straight up but it's 8 18 a.m we just hit 99 percent so not bad um but yeah let's get the day started okay so i can't seem to catch a break today um my i uh, i had a driving lesson earlier this morning that went pretty well um but then uh, i got a fraudulent charge to my bank account which yeah that's not good um and then uh apple store just called me said that my uh, battery is in and ready for repairing my MacBook. So we're gonna head over to the Apple store pretty soon and hopefully get that um, square away, get the battery all fixed and uh, yeah. All right, ending a bit of a heavier day with I guess a lot of video watching, I don't really know what. 
um, but it's 9.55 p.m. We're at 36% battery, so not too bad. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the morning. I am beat as hell. <laughs> So I'm a dumbass and forgot to record an intro this morning. So I guess I'll give you guys a midday battery update. I took the phone off the charger around, I want to say like 7.30, um, but it is 2.18 p.m. We're at 71% battery, which is pretty good. So uh, yeah. Okay, so it looks like the VX8300 is going in the broken phone drawer for now. For some reason, looks like this battery is starting to swell up and I don't know why but it just it will not go back in like I mean if I hold it down it's not actually booting it's not booting okay yep I think this battery is absolutely screwed so yeah Okay, so I threw in the battery that was in this VX6100 into this phone. It does work, although it is dead right now, so I'll have to go and charge it, but I'll charge that tomorrow. So, yeah. Yeah, you can see it just died. This is gonna be temporary though. All right, so I'm trying to end the day, but the Phoenix over here is just taking forever to top off. I don't know why this phone takes so long to charge. It is really annoying. But, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. All right, we are down to the third to last day of the challenge. So I took the phone off the charger around, pff, I don't even know when, I'd say like 740 maybe. Um, but it's 847. We're at 99%. Good start overall. So uh, yeah, let's get the uh, third, five, the whatever. I don't even know. Let's just get the day started. So once this challenge is over, I am going to switch back over to my iPhone SE. But right now, I'm actually going to unpair my Galaxy Watch from my S9 and pair it to the iPhone since I'm switching to this for an indefinite amount of time hopefully only for about two months before i hopefully get a new iphone maybe like a 10r or an 11 or something like that um but we'll see uh but right now i gotta remember how to unpair this so i think uh, on the galaxy watch i just go to settings and then how do i do this reset here we go let me go ahead and hop into the Galaxy Wear app. Let's do that. Okay, let's go ahead and how do we do this? Um, how do I unpair? No, it's not it. Nope. Okay. There we go. All right, and the Galaxy wearable app is now off on the S9, so we'll go ahead and throw that over there. And then we'll wait for that to reset. But while we do that, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and actually swap the SIM cards. I'm gonna take the AT&T SIM that's in the iPhone and put it in here and then put the my old Verizon SIM and put it in here for now so that I can remember to put that SIM in the Droid Turbo. I know, really confusing. All right, Galaxy Watch Active is rebooting. So we should be all good. All right, so I set up the tripod, but the Galaxy Watch Active is ready to go, ready for setup. So before we set that up, I'm gonna go ahead and let's get the uh, Droid Turbo out of the picture here. There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna do the SIM card switch really quick. So I'm just gonna take this out of here and we're gonna go ahead and uh, remove the cases. And there we go. Okay, so. 
Now I need a SIM tool. I think I have an iPhone SIM tool over here. Yeah, here we go. That's on the box. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so let me go ahead and pop the SIMs out. Whoa. AT&T SIM here. So Verizon SIM should just go in perfectly fine. I think once a, once you put a Verizon SIM in that isn't activated, it should say like 3G or 1X or something like that in the top. So let's see what it does. So I got no service. And should say something. Think. There we go, Verizon. Okay, so let me turn Wi-Fi off to see what it says real quick. One X. Okay, so all right, there we go. Okay, so that's all good. So we can go ahead and move that over to the side. And then this is an unlocked S9, so I think it should. Once I reboot it, it should be able to detect an AT&T SIM. So let me go ahead and throw this in here. And let's see what it does here. It's probably gonna ask me to restart. Got no network connection. Are you gonna do anything? There we go. Okay. So let's see what that does. Oh. I guess it does a shorter vibration for AT&T devices, huh? That's kind of cool. All right. So that should, in theory, be all we need to do here. Okay, so we've got a service indicator. No network connection, that's weird. Um. Hold on, let me go into the... Mobile networks. Okay, so we've got AT&T as the network operator. Oh, there we go, AT&T. Okay, cool. So, all right, that should be all good to go. Okay, so now let's go ahead and pair the Galaxy Watch Active to my iPhone here, so I'm gonna go and open the watch app. There we go. We've got this, this should pop up nearby. So we've got Galaxy Watch active. Yeah, here we go. Connect. Now I guess once I get a new iPhone, I'll end up connecting this, unless at some point I get, I get an Apple Watch. Okay, that's obnoxious. Wow. Okay, we are paired. Nope, don't want to report diagnostic info. Yes, allow. Yep. Mm. Okay, we'll sign into that real quick. All right, 
know I have a new sign into my Samsung account, all right? Okay, searching for backups, no backup data file, that's no big deal. Uh, yes. Okay. Cool, cool, yep, 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 I know. Okay, that's annoying. Stop, shut the hell up. Yeah, I, I, I see you, I see that. do that. It's so annoying. Okay, finally. Please go away. Thank you. All right, we're good. Okay, so for some reason, the iPhone with the uh, with my old Verizon SIM in it is roaming. I've never seen a CDMA phone with a SIM actually do that, so I'm very, very confused as to what the hell is going on. So, yeah. All right, extremely light day, 9.57 end time, 70%. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, I barely used the phone today. Uh, so yeah. So I took the phone off the charger about like, I'd say like three minutes ago. It's 8.27, so we're still at 100%, of course. Uh, no surprise there. But uh, yeah, let's get this second to last day started. So I just checked my repairs in my Apple ID and it looks like from what I can tell, my MacBook is actually going to be done tomorrow, which is actually really good. So that means, so that if that's the case, and that means that my repair only took six days in total. It took them two days to get the part, which is nothing. And then it, and then it'll only take them four days to complete the repair. Like that's, that's pretty insane. So, yeah, not bad at all. Oh, okay, great. All right, so ending the day at 9.14 p.m. with, or 9.15 p.m. with 39% battery. So pretty good day overall, but yeah, a little bit of a shorter day since I have to uh, wake up early for class tomorrow. So uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the morning for the uh, final day of the challenge. Took the phone off the charger at six o'clock even. 6.55 right now, still at 100%. So good start overall, but today is officially, thanks Rebel. Today is officially the final day of the challenge. So let's get it started. Ending the final day of the challenge at 10.02 PM with 55% battery. And yep, this, okay, thanks NHL. Um, but like I said, this is the final day of the challenge, so I will come back tomorrow with the recap and outro. And with that, that is officially the end of the challenge. It's been one month already. That's pretty insane. This feels like it, <laughs> it flew by really quick. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna have a whole video on uh, basically my whole experience, things I like liked um, versus things I didn't like about using the Droid Turbo 2 as my daily driver. But the gist of it is, I actually really enjoyed it. I was really surprised with how usable this phone is as a daily driver in 2021, especially considering that this phone will turn six years old in October. That's really impressive. So yeah, I enjoyed using the Android Turbo 2, but it is time to put my SIM card back in the iPhone SE. So let's do it. All right, so we've got the two phones right here. Let me go and remove the case from the iPhone real quick and there we go so now let's go ahead and uh, pop these sim trays out <clears throat> and whoa and ooh. there we go I'm just gonna pull them out there's my main sim, and there is my old sim. So, you gotta kinda, f this is the one annoying part about the Droid Turbo 2 sim card tray is that you have to kinda fingernail it out of there. It's really secure in place, which is nice, but yeah, it does get a little annoying sometimes. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn Wi-Fi off over here, just so we can, uh, 
that it'll be all good to go. Yep, I hear you. I hear you. Let me go ahead and throw my uh, old sim into the Turbo 2's tray. We'll pop that back in there. If we can get it in there. There we go. Okay, and that should pop up with Verizon. Right? What the, what the hell? Okay, yep, Verizon Wireless. All right, so the Joy Turbo 2 now has my old SIM in it. So that means that it is time to put my SIM in the, whoop, that's nice, in the iPhone SE. And we have no service. And Verizon 1X LTE, there we go. All right, this is officially my daily driver now. Let's just go ahead and quickly test it to make sure that it's actually working. I'm gonna call from my home phone here. Well, there we go. So with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys smash the thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button down below, follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and Twitch. <laughs> and I will gonna catch you guys in the next one. Peace.